its heyday, it was full, bustling, busy. It was an exciting place, I think, Bar Good, for us from the small village where we were born and brought up. Uh, Bar Good was the mecca for shopping if you wanted new clothing, new shoes. And it used to be a pleasure to walk in the town, but now with the shutters up, it is, you, after, shutters after, <laughs> after in the evening, it's just shut it down. It's not, no. it's not a pleasure to walk through Bargoid. Mm. And there is very little evening entertainment, if any. No, know. no. can't stand still on any high street. You have to move with the changes. And the thing is, changes wouldn't come unless they had to be in a positive way. I've been waiting for changes in Bargain for many years. Nothing has happened, but over the last few years, they've changed the way the high street is. It's easier to get to Bargain, to communicate. We've got a fabulous bus station here. We've got everything that a high street needs. That's all we want, is for everybody to support the high street. And let's go back to years ago when they did. Instead of moving out of the town, support your own town and use it or lose it. Never be afraid of competition and always say if somebody else is open up on the high street or wherever they may be, it's going to draw more people to the high street. If there wasn't any shops or any one to come to on the high street, they wouldn't come. The more you got, the more people you will have. As it is now, we're hoping for the cinema to come to Bargood, which will be so, so exciting, which will cater for every age, whether you're young or whether you're old. Everything going for Bargood, let's be positive and let's move forward and enjoy the changes and everything is going to happen. I'm not overly impressed with the changes, to be honest. I don't think they've achieved what was originally set out to achieve. Yes, the town looks much better, more modern and clean and everything, but um, I think a lot of the spirit of the town has gone, to be quite frankly. I mean, with the economic climate as well as the changes in Bargo, plus um, that end of the town now being really popular because of Morrison's, I think this end of the town will probably struggle, to be quite frank. It's definitely not as good as it was. Obviously, no, no town centre is as good as it used to be years ago. All the businesses are struggling, so to speak. But um, I think eventually a town centre is going to be a thing of the past, to be honest. I just think you've got to keep plodding on and trying to get the council, the Chamber of Trade, everybody really positive to try and get a positive aspect for the people in town for a positive aspect. But um, I don't know whether that will happen, to be honest. I was lucky enough to be able to make a minor contribution and I am pleased with the work which has now been completed. We've got an excellent road, a new bus station, a big supermarket and a petrol station on the new roads which I think will be quite significant. And so all in all I'm very pleased with the progress which has been made. Morrison's will only bring trade into the town. Um, particularly when the new shops, the seven new units are open which are adjacent to Morrison's, which will actually lead people into town, um, then, then we'll see a big improvement. It can only help Bargoid uh, become, again, a force in, in, the, in the Rumney Valley uh, retail-wise then. Now, some businesses uh, are rightly apprehensive about uh, Morrison's opening, particularly, I think, sort of greengrocers, bakers, possibly the butchers as well, because these traditionally are the strengths of superstores and people do tend to do all their shopping under one roof where it's warm and dry and they can 
take all their goods to, uh, to the car and go home. A lot of people prefer to shop locally. Uh, they, they prefer to pick their produce as, as they want. They know it's fresh coming in every day uh, and they like to support local traders. Um, so I don't think we've an awful lot to be afraid of in Bargoid. Time will tell, obviously, but um, I, th I think people should be a little bit more confident about the future. I think we're all very positive about the changes in Bargoid because we, we have had a very, very depressed couple of years in Bargoid with the, the way things have been going, lots of empty shops. I think the parking in the town is not the best with pavements are not as wide as we'd like to see them. The loading bays are very small. Apart from that, I think what, what has been done, has been done quite well. I feel the town's gonna prosper or benefit from these changes, not kill off too many businesses as a lot of people are worried about. Regarding the town, it's looking a lot better. I hope that with all the new, genera new generation, that the town will improve, um, perhaps draw back a few more youngsters or stop youngsters leaving because there might be more chance of jobs. I got a positive outlook for the town rather than a negative outlook. I think another five years and we'll see big, big changes in Bargoid. Uh, it'll be too late for me, I mean, at the wrong, wrong time of life now to be planning five years ahead. Please use your high streets. Let's not lose them, keep them, because once they're gone, you'll never get them back. I think that uh, the town will develop, I hope it will develop, and we'll see some major retailers being attracted into the area. Regeneration is going to work if the problem is solved. We'll see what happens and I hope everyone feels as confident as I do.